every so often we need to be able to examine an area clearance toolpath in a lot more detail and we need to isolate a single Z height or a single slice of the area clearance toolpath so we can check and interrogate the offsetting, any arc fitting we may have implemented or any trochoidal moves to make sure we're happy with the result. In PowerMill 10 and previous versions of PowerMill isolating this single slice of a roughing toolpath has always been a very difficult and laborious process and often involved using the dynamic sectioning or making a copy of the toolpath and deleting segments away so we're left with just the segment we want to look at. Now with the implementation of PowerMill 2010 we have a new piece of functionality called the Z height viewer which will allow us to quickly and easily examine any step down of an area clearance toolpath and also any step down of a constant Z toolpath. Let's have a look at the Z height viewer in a lot more detail by loading in a project. So here we have a sample project and we have a couple of toolpaths, an area clearance and a constant Z toolpath. First of all we'll go to the constant to the area clearance toolpath and to access the Z height viewer it's simply a case of right clicking on our toolpath and choosing view picked Z height. So a form appears on the screen and it lists every single Z height or every single slice uh, that is contained in our area clearance toolpath and you can see at the moment the very first slice is selected and drawn on its own on the screen. So I can either cycle through the slices one by one just stepping down each time only that slice is viewed uh, visible on the screen or I can actually specify a height that I would like to look at. So for example if I'm interested in a roughing slice at around the Z minus 30 millimeters mark I can put a minus 30 into the reference and PAMA will just show me the closest slice to that reference height and at the bottom here it gives me a reading of the difference between the roughing slice and my reference height that I entered. I can also enter a reference height by picking on the model so for example if I click on this icon here and then I click anywhere on the model it shows me the closest slice to that picked point on the model. You'll also notice that there's a little icon next to each level and the icon indicates the type of slice we're looking at, whether it's a regular step down slice or it's in the case of this one it's a flat slice. So you can see this level is machining exactly at this flat here and is indicated by the, the blue step icon in the window. If I'm only interested in viewing the flats, which sometimes we are, we, only, we want to check to make sure Pamel has roughed out all the flat levels on the part successfully, then I can view flats only and I can step through and make sure all the flat levels have been visited and been machined successfully. The process works exactly the same for a constant Z toolpath. Simply right click on the constant Z and say view pick Z height. And again we can step through individual slices, view the flats for the constant Z because now the new constant Z machining has a flat machining option. So we can view the flats to make sure the constant Z has visited all the flat surfaces, etc. Now the view pick Z heights will work with 2D area clearance, so feature set machining for example, 
uh, and obviously 3D area clearance we've just seen and also the constant Z machining.